It's your boy NWP, and today we have Heroic Mother in Aldir. Now, we're going to talk about the major changes, but before we do, if you could take the time right now, if you are not subscribed, go down to the bottom of the video and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And if you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. But, yeah, there is just, I think, like, one really major difference in this fight compared to um you know say most other fights i guess really when you change difficulties but this is like literally one major di uh, difference in mechanics um all the basic mechanics are still in play as normal uh the one major difference is just like taylock you're gonna have some vertical lasers and you're gonna get these little uh spheres on the ground here these little circles on the ground and the lasers will come down and be open where those uh circles are and you can survive basically so i slow that down nice 50 percent speed for you there and we're back to live action but as i said that's really the only major encounter change in the entire fight now, I found for uh, Shadow Priests, this fight sucks. Um, <clears throat> I was able to get a 96 parse on the Warcraft logs, which is pretty decent right now. But, you know, this fight is literally brutal. So, um, don't expect to get any damage on the ads, okay? So, like, yeah, okay, you can jump over there and Mind Seer the tank or something, or Mind Seer one of you, those DPS. But you'll be lucky to get one tick out if you have good raid DPS in general. So uh, keep that in mind right there, just like in general, that this fight does not favor any of uh, the abilities we have. So taking any AoE abilities is actually going to hinder your chance to rank on this fight. So if you're taking like um, uh, Void Crash or the, uh, what's that, like darkness or i don't even know what it's called right now but the the um dark void i think it's called <laughs> the the ability to just sp spread out a big amount of shadow word pain is just basically worthless like you really don't want to use this abilities okay so what i found is because this fight does have a damage increase and a very you know nice final room there so what you want to do is definitely take twist of fate Okay, so just definitely take Twist of Fate on this fight. Um, I mean, if you're not playing Dark Ascension, that's on you, I guess. Like, you know, if you just want that weird um, rotation, like sloppy. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that build right now. I'm um, not really playing with it myself. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying my current build with uh, crit I'm trying to keep crit and haste as balanced as possible but I'm pretty much leaning on crit at the point of like 18.5 and then getting out of there and, and pretty much just trying to stack haste as much as possible so yeah um, dark ascension definitely helps and as you see here these are the orbs again that you're going to stand in or circles golden circles here you stand in those boom you're safe with lasers no problem and pretty much immediately after that, you're always going to have, you know, that little AOE there, cleansing, whatever, purification. I don't even know. Don't know purification strike. I don't know what these abilities are called. Don't, uh, you know, listen to me for the names of abilities. But basically, I just got lasered and didn't die right there. And this is going to happen about two or three times throughout this fight where I get lasered and don't die. So, yeah, <laughs> um, don't do what I do. Uh, I don't even know what to say about it because I, I literally end up testing it one time at the end of the fight where I'm just like, okay, are these going to do damage to me? And I don't think they did. So <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. But ba but basically, make sure that uh, when you're going out into the third room that you have your everything ready. You want your Dark Ascension ready. You want 100% you know insanity to go in so you can void erupt on her right away make sure your dots are and this is this is huge this is paramount okay see there again boom like no damage from those lasers like what is going on right now right so no but seriously like paramount to getting any type of good dps in this fight and i mean absolutely paramount is that you refresh your dots 
before you go through and that you hope you get put in a later group. Now, I got put in, like, basically the second to last group, okay? The last group being, obviously, the tank and, like, one other person or something like that. And the reality is, is that, like, I'm refreshing my dots with seconds before that. And basically, because I'm refreshing my dots, I'm able to keep my damage up on the boss, especially after this buff to, uh, you know, both of our dots with Vampiric Touch and Shadow Word Pain being buffed. It It's paramount. I mean, I, I would say this is, like, some good advice for Warlocks as well as to do that. So... You know, if you guys are really looking for dot advice, um, I suck at it. <laughs> no, but no, seriously, guys, uh, refresh your dots before you jump through. This goes for any, if you have any dots on your class, like refresh your dots because any damage is better than no damage on the, you know, when you're trying to uh, get a higher parse on DPS. And, you know, as you can see, luck helps, like, you know, watching, <laughs> literally watching me take no damage from things that should have killed me immediately is absolutely hilarious, but, um, it just goes to show you that, like, this game is, like, 99% luck, in my opinion, at some point, like, uh, how, how what, that, that doesn't even make sense, you know? But, hey, whatever. And, uh, yeah, there's no audio here. I don't know why the audio cuts out. So, yeah. I've tried to figure that out, like, three times on this file. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. But I hope this helped you guys. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.